he's broken his neck in three places and at 20 years old he's now the rest of his life in a wheelchair. He's basically got nothing left, you know, he's stuck in a wheelchair 24-7. As soon as I woke up and noticed I couldn't feel my body, then I knew that was a problem. And then my consultant came around and told me that obviously I'd never walk again. It looks inviting. It's a bit of a laugh. It could be a life sentence. Every year people die from tombstoning. Others are paralysed for life. Typical injuries are broken necks, fractured spines and shattered limbs. Broke my neck in three places, uh, multiple fractures down my spine. I had uh, two of my bones in my neck burst, so, which means I had no bone there. So they've carved half of my hip out and replaced it with all my burst bones and uh, I've got two plates and nine screws. Sonny Wells was just 21 when he jumped off a pier. When eventually he regained consciousness in hospital, he was told he'd never walk again. It's probably one of the worst things that you could be told, to be honest, that you're not, that you're not going to be able to walk again or just knowing that you're paralysed. It's your worst nightmare to hear that about your child because obviously you're never going to see him play football with his friends again, maybe never have a family. All the things he used to do a week before, he would never do again. Just broke down in tears, you know, what could, uh, what could you do, you know, I was laying there, I couldn't do nothing. Um, obviously felt sorry for myself, kicked myself every day for doing that and I still do to this day. Just by looking, you can't tell the depth of the water or what lies underneath. Notwithstanding the impact of hitting the water from about six to eight metres and spinal potential there, under the surface, puncture wounds, um, certainly lower limb fractures, um, which in itself will allow the body um, to bleed into space so you can lose your entire blood volume with a fractured pelvis, for example. The shock of very cold water can temporarily paralyse the body. Currents can rapidly sweep someone out to sea or pull them under. Well, the sea will always have dangers and the coastline and the cliffs and everything connected with it. There may be dangers you're not aware of, currents, rip tides. You can also have obstructions under the water, jumping in where, it, especially where signs say do not jump, which sometimes people take as a dare and do jump. We have a lot of tragic cases every year, sometimes death, sometimes actually crippling injuries, and that is what we're trying to stop. Okay, three, two, one, go. Tombstoners fall into all age categories, not just youngsters, and 25% of fatalities involve men who are 40 or more. Alcohol and drugs can change your perception of danger. Get it wrong when you're jumping into water and you may not get a second chance. Down the coast we've had one guy actually killed and another one, um, just for a small bet, he's actually um, jumped off what he thought was a deep area and as a result um, he's broken his neck in three places and at 20 years old he's now the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Just imagine how you would be affected if you could never walk again.
you can't be the same person anymore, you know, if you've got prospects for the future. It changes that completely. I'll be limited. I wouldn't be able to go out with my friends as much. There wouldn't be sports I could do. It would ruin my life. It can affect your career choices. Going out with my friends, like swimming, going to camps. There's a lot of things which, like, I, I'd love to do and then I just, like, they'll be taken away from me. It's not what it just does to you. It's what it does to your family, your friends, and it's just the way everyone has to live now, you know. I have to have people on standby or on call in case things go wrong, you know. It's not just my life that's changed, their life's changed as well because it all revolves around me. He's basically got nothing left, you know. He's stuck in a wheelchair 24-7. If you want to end up like that, then all I would say is go ahead and jump. It's your life. Don't be a mug. Don't make a mess of it. Tombstoning could be the way to an early grave. Jump, 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 jump,